Well, this morning, Aussies are being urged to look to pharmacies first for everyday health care as GP wait times blow out. Currently, one in ten Aussies are waiting more than three weeks for an appointment with their doctor, while in regional areas, that's one in five people. This has sparked some pharmacists to upskill in the hope to become the answer to quicker and more affordable access to help. For more, I'm joined by pharmacist and president of the Pharmacy Guild of Australia, Trent Toomey. Morning to you. What exactly Morning. can I go to my pharmacist for that I'd normally be going to my doctor for? Well, Nat, today is World Pharmacist Day, so can I quickly say happy World Pharmacist Day to all of the pharmacists and pharmacy assistants in Australia. But to answer your question, so right now, with the reforms coming through state and territory governments, Australians can ask their pharmacists to initiate hormonal contraception if you're overusing the emergency contraception. You can now get treatment for acne, for nausea and vomiting, for skin conditions like eczema uh, and dermatitis, and also uh, for middle and outer ear infections. So these are common everyday health conditions that with a little bit of extra training, uh, your pharmacist can now prevent you from having to wait up to three weeks to see a GP or lining up for many hours in our overstretched emergency departments. So how do I know whether my, whether my pharmacist can actually address these issues? So there's a great resource called findapharmacy.com.au and that's got all of the different pharmacy franchises and brands on there, whether it's Terry White or Priceline, they're all in one location. You can search uh, by time of day, by postcode or by condition. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so it's a, it's a really good resource. It's rolling out in, in northern Queensland. That's where uh, I am. I had to go back to university, Nat, and train with the GPs for an extra year, so six years worth of training in total. Okay. Uh, but it's exceptionally popular and... Um, you know, the, the early indications that we're getting and, and patients are providing their own feedback directly back to state and territory governments. It's, um, it's we're just being inundated. It's wonderful. Uh, yeah, and it's freeing up doctor's surgeries. OK, Trent, thank you very much. Here's Michael. Thanks, Nat.